everybody. This is Michael at Bass Bass. It's a Monday morning. We've got a small install here. Um, for Micah tear out. <coughs> it's in Hickory. Um, so, uh, David has started working on the tear out. And I was just giving you a, a starter. A little bit of info. And we'll touch base throughout. I've got... We cut this job in two tops with no seams. So I know this back one's going to be tough to get in for the size. As long as we can get it in nicely, I think everything will be okay. But we'll go and see what happens. Thanks for watching. Alright, like I said guys, we've got this big piece here in one piece. So, um... I, I tried to make the customer tops in one piece because we try to get the best quality that we can. But in order to get this in here in one piece, I think we're going to need to remove this little side piece here of the cabinet. I've taken a couple screws out here, which opens it up there. And then this piece right here just popped right out. So right now we're going to cut the bead of painter's caulk. And then we'll pull out this little piece of trim here. And hopefully it should just slide right out. And then once we get the top in and get everything finished, we can just slide it back in. That way the customer gets the best looking uh, kitchen she can have. And, you know, nothing's messed up. But uh, she seems to be a very nice lady. Um, so depending on how the customer, we always try to do the best job we can. But if it's a nice customer, we'll always go above and beyond what we normally would. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to keep y'all in the loop on what's going on. So we've got the tear out done guys and we've checked our templates but what we noticed was that the dishwasher was sitting up higher than the cabinet so when we put the tops on it was going to uh, hit the dishwasher and be sitting on it plus we wouldn't be able to get our dishwasher bracket in there. On the bottoms of dishwashers, um, I don't know how well you can see this but uh, they have little feet right here. And you can turn those feet left and right to raise and lower that dishwasher up and down. Uh, this one has had this on the bottom side of it here and it had a couple of screws. So we had to take the screws out to get access to the feet on the dishwasher. Then once we had access to the feet, we uh, had to pry it up there and turn the feet to, to lower the dishwasher so that we could put our bracket and things in there. This particular dishwasher, as you can see, we've got a... Uh, the hard water line, copper line there, going all the way across here, and then it's going into the dishwasher. So anytime you have a situation like this, you want to be very careful not to damage the customer's water line um, or her dishwasher, his or hers, whoever it may be. Plus this one here, as you can see, it's got the electric um, for an outlet box run straight across the top of this dishwasher so you don't want to lift up too high or you know grab onto that electric cable and mess it up when you're moving this dishwasher either so um i think where a lot of new guys a lot of inexperienced guys run into problems is uh they run into a situation like this and rather than take their time and, and work gently and uh you know find the problem and then find the solution they just dive right in jerking stuff around and then you know, maybe a copper line gets broke, or maybe an electrical line gets broke, or maybe a dishwasher gets broke, and um, then it can domino effect from there. So uh, the reason I'm showing all this in this video is we've had some some really strange things that you don't run into a lot on jobs, and uh, I just you know just want everybody to see that there is a way to take your time and do it correctly as to not have any personal property damage or anything like that uh, so just take your time guys uh either way you, you know you can spend a lot of time complaining and bitching and moaning about what you got to do or you can just skip all that and do what you got to do and get it done and move forward and uh i think that's your best bet so we're going to get this taken care of guys and uh get our dishwasher bracket mounted on here and then we're going to start trying to get these tops in All right, guys, we're gonna to try to get this stone in here. I'm gonna to try to find some place to set you up and video while we're moving. 
I do have a tripod, as David just rudely brought to my attention, but uh, I forget to bring it. So we're going to go tripodless. Alrighty, focus on David.
Well, we're just going to bring this around. Now, a little bit of time, we're going to work it over, all right? Let me lower it down. It's for more things than lifting a stone, as y'all can see. so tight like this you can't have it at an angle because you just don't have that much to screw mess with. Looking good. So just a little bit of time because we don't want to get jammed up like that. I want to keep the car in use. Over. As soon as I get mine on here, I'm going to send it toward you, okay? Just kind of keep a little pressure off of it over there, right? Give me a second. I'm going to come through it, okay? So guys, I hope y'all were able to see most of that. Uh, the main thing when you got to top this B, you want to find a way to get it straight across. And you want to work it up using your cart as support. I'm a lot more comfortable doing it with a uh, quartz top than with the granite because the quartz is stronger. But as you can see, we got the top in place. It's all in one piece, which is going to give the customer a beautiful top um, with no seams or anything like that. 
Melissa, my wife, is out there. She just brought us some lunch. Hopefully she brought us cold drinks. And David is putting the shims to support it anywhere that he can. Um, so now we got to get this other top in, and then we'll put her together, get the fridge hooked back up, get the cabinets put back together, and rock and roll. All right, guys, we got the install finished. Uh, got the refrigerator back in place here. Uh, we got the uh, cabinet uh, back in place, put back together. I caulked out the top of it, uh, put the nails back in. We got the backsplash installed, uh, caulked out. We used some color match silicone to connect the backsplash to the top itself. Under mount sink mounted. Um, silicone used. Uh, I had a customer who was mad at me. This, he made some bad decisions on his job and now he's mad at me, but whatever. Um, we use the clips, of course, to mount this sink. Uh, sorry, I'm having a hard time doing it. Uh, there you go, you can see the clips. They used one of our sinks, so there was room to get the clips in there. The problem the other customer had, he used his personal sink, which left no room to put the clips in, so we had to use wooden brackets. And he's mad. <laughs> had nothing to do with us, and they'll hold the sink, but whatever. So, we got our stove back in place. We caulked out with color match caulk underneath. Um, the cabinets were pretty nice and level. Didn't really have a whole lot of problems with them. Customer asked for eased edge on the outside of her peninsula. I think it looks great. She went with the Rocky Shores quartz. So this this material is a <laughs> strong as steel. She'll never have a problem with it at, ever. Um, we did it seamless. We just did two big pieces, which gives the customer the best possible look. No seam anywhere, which I could have made the seam disappear in this one, but it would have still had a seam in it. So. You know, and of course we swept up the floor and everything like that. Um, we've also had a tear out, so we cleaned up everything outside. Got it all loaded in the back of the truck. There's David. Uh, over here's where we cut at. And here's the tear out and all that stuff. So, all in all, guys, I... I think I think we did a great job. Uh, the customer was awesome as well. Um, although she was at the house the whole time, she uh, she stayed in the other room and uh, she's working from home, so she did her job uh, nice as she could be. Went over everything we had to do that was kind of different with her. She had no problem with anything, so we really couldn't ask for a better customer. Um, but that's it, guys. Uh, we, not bad for a Monday. So I'm going to go over the aftercare sheet and all that with her. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.